Hello there, this is Carla from CG Circuit. In this video, I would like to show you our coupons functionality. A coupon is a great tool for authors that can be used for many purposes, from rewarding people who have already purchased from you, to promoting new content, or to attract a specific audience you never attracted before. You can access this functionality by going to My Courses, Teaching, and then select the Coupons tab. Here you have two main sections. The section on the left is where you can set up and customize your coupon, while on the right you have the list of your existing coupons. Let's now create our first coupon. All we have to do is select a name and a discount percentage. So let's enter July 2020 as my coupon name and 20 as the discount percentage. As I type the name here, you probably noticed the text in the section Coupon to Share auto-updated. Let's quickly talk about that because it's very important. You may also have noticed that I have a CS underscore text in front of the name of the coupon I typed. This extra text is a namespace that is unique to you. In my case, I have CS based on my initials. You may also have a number after your initials if a namespace with your initial is already taken. This section is important because the full text, in this case CS underscore July 2020, is the actual coupon code that you need to share with your users and what your users need to use during the checkout process. Okay, at this point, the coupon has not been created yet because I need to save it first. So let's go at the bottom of the section and click the Save Changes button. As soon as I press that button, you will notice that my coupon appears in the section on the right, and it has some info on it. One important thing to notice here is that since I didn't do any customization on my coupon, this coupon does not have any date restriction, meaning that it will last forever until you manually delete it, and it can be applied against all of your content, and there is no limit to who can use this coupon. Let's see how we can customize it. Let's press the Edit button on the right here, and the system will populate all the fields on the left. Now, I would like to limit the people who can use this coupon. If you want to limit the people who can use this coupon to just people who purchased your content in the past, all you have to do is to enable the Select Users via Content, and then select the content. In this case, I would like to reward only the people who already purchased the first two tutorials in the Introduction to VEX tutorial series, so I'm going to select those two. Let's take a look at the section on the right, specifically the User Count column. Right now it says All Users, but as soon as I press Save Changes, the User Count gives me the number of users who purchased the two tutorials I selected. Let's now say I would like to add a friend on the list of users that can use this coupon. Let's click on Edit again. And now I'm going to turn on Specify Email Addresses. And I'm going to add the email of john.doe at gmail.com. And make sure you press either Tab or Comma after any email addresses here. If I now hit Save Changes, you will notice the number of users increases by one. Let's click Edit again and use the last two types of customizations. Let's say I want this coupon to only last two weeks. I can enable the section Choose Date and select the next two weeks. By doing this, the coupon will only be valid from the dates I have selected. An important factor to keep in mind here is that these dates are based on the universal time zone, so account for that when you tell your users. The last customization we can do is to limit this coupon to a specific tutorial. In this example, I would like to reward the users that purchased the first two tutorials in the Introduction to VEX series by issuing a coupon that can only be used on the third volume on the series. So I can enable the Limit to Content section and select the third tutorial in the series. It's important to mention here that if you don't select any content in this section, the coupon will be able to be applied to all of your content. Let's hit Save and let's examine what we see on the right. As you can see, 
I now have the start and end date. I have the number of users that can use this coupon and how many tutorials this coupon can be used on. In our case, it's only one. And if I hover over the show items label, it will show the list of tutorials. In this case, again, just introduction to VAX Volume 3. Keep in mind that when it comes to customization, you can use any of these in whatever combination is more appropriate to you. Now, let's say you have this coupon and you would like to send an email to everybody who can use it. All you have to do is to go in the section on the right and click on the email icon. This will automatically take you to the email users tab and populate all the fields for you. So if you noticed, the number of people is populated and the custom emails are added in this section. And on top of that, the system pre-populates the body of the email message with the coupon name and it will list the tutorials the coupon can be applied on. If I want to make this coupon available to a few more tutorials, I can just go back to the coupons tab, click edit, add a couple of more tutorials, and then click on the email button again. As you can see, the email message has been populated with the updated list of tutorials. All right, I think this covers it. As you use this functionality, it would be great if you could let us know how we can improve it. If you want to provide your feedback, please send that to info at cgcircuit.com. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.